final of the women's 200 breaststroke. Swimming in your A final, in lane number one, gold in the 400 IM at Pan Ams from the University of Tennessee, Tess Chapla. In lane number two, your 200 breaststroke U.S. Open champion from Condor Swim Club of Clarkstown, Emily Escobedo. Lane three, two-time world champion from St. Petersburg Aquatics, Melanie Margallis. Lane number four, your 100 breaststroke champion this weekend from Mission Viejo, Annie Laser. Lane number five, your defending national champion in this event from Longhorn Aquatics, Madison Cox. Lane six, silver in the 200 breaststroke at Pan Ams from Aggie Swim Club, Bethany Callen. Lane seven, seventh in the 200 breaststroke at the 2016 Olympic Games from Swim Canada, Kira Smith. And in lane eight, seventh in the 200 breaststroke in the 2019 World University Games from Lufra, Jocelyn Juliet. A final, women's 200 breaststroke. Laser, your top seed, 100 breaststroke champion, third in the 200 breaststroke at the U.S. Open, but did win the 100 and 200 breaststroke at the Pan American Games last year. She was the second fastest time in the world last year, actually, in this event, 220.77, which was her personal best. She was a 228.45 in the prelims, tied with Madison Cox, our other top seed. Madison Cox, of course, your defending national champion. And at the turn, it's Annie Laser, 33-25 for her, a full second and a half faster than in prelims. But look at how stacked this A final is. Emily Escobedo in a lane number two, currently sitting in second place. The two-time world champion, Melanie Margallis in a lane number three. You got Bethany Gallant in lane six, Gare Smith lane seven. And who's who of breaststrokers in this A final? Halfway, Laser, Escobedo, Cox, one, two, three. Gallant in fourth, only three quarters of a second separating the top four. Jocelyn Juliet of Loughborough in lane number eight. She's sitting in fifth place right now, only nine tenths off of that lead as well. She holds a Great Britain national record in this event. Final turn now, and it looks like Annie Laser stepped on the accelerator. Emily Escobedo chasing as well. Laser with a 36 36 on that third 50. Escobedo the next fastest split with a 36 71. Margallis also charging. Margallis continues to look strong, but it may just be. Too little, too late to chase down Annie Laser. She will win it with a 223.06, breaking her own pool record. Your winner, Annie Laser.
on a calm, relaxed swim. Does it feel calm and relaxed when you're in the pool? No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, the first 50 this morning, the pool felt really cold. So I tried to take it out faster the first 50 so I wouldn't be as cold. Um, and then basically the back 100 is kind of my bread and butter. So I tried to make it hurt the last 25. and. I did, and it turned out pretty well. It's a pretty good time for me, so I'm happy. I asked Justin about how strong the American men were in the 100 back. The same is true for the women in the 200 breaststroke. Your thoughts on that? Oh, I mean, it's just a stacked field. It's arguably one of our deepest events now, which is really exciting, because I think four years ago, um, I know it wasn't like exactly the same way. So it's really exciting to like have such a deep field and such great competitors all the time. Just really brings out the best in everyone, I think. Way to go. Thank you. Annie Laser able to take.